good YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bud Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, reports and rumors had started to swirl after ESPN reported that four division world champion Mexican superstar Bassa, who's currently the undisputed super middleweight world champion and widely considered by many to be the face of the sport of boxing and top three pound for pound best fighters in the world. And Saul Canelo Alvarez, 57 wins, one loss, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout, 31 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. With that said, Canelo Alvarez, he created history back in uh, November, November 5th of 2021 when he defeated former IBF super middleweight world champion superstar boxer Caleb Sweethand Plant by knockout. With that said, Canelo Alvarez, he became the first undisputed super middleweight in the history of the sport of boxing, and he became the first Mexican-born fighter in the history of the sport of boxing to hold all four major sanction belts in the ring magazine in the lineal. So, Saul Canelo Alvarez, he created history two times over. With that said, there's reports that Canelo Alvarez's next fight could possibly be against undefeated two-division world champion, who's currently the reigning WBC middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Jamal Lyons only, Charlo, 32 wins, no losses, no draws, 22 big wins by way of knockout, 31 years of age, 6 feet tall with a 73-inch, 74-inch uh, arm reach. With that said, the last time you saw Jamal Charlo in the ring was uh, June of this, uh, June of 2021 when he took on and defeated Juan Marcel Montel, okay, uh, via unanimous decision. So, initially, there was reports that Canelo Alvarez is going to go up to cruiserweight. The new limit of 190 pounds. Since we added the uh, bridge weight to the uh, um, sport of boxing, cruiserweight limit of 200 went down to uh, 190. Okay, and so with that said, you know um, there was reports that Canelo Alvarez is going to go up to uh, uh, cruiserweight and challenge Mukubu for his WBC title. Okay, uh, but Mukubu he has to face off against a mandatory challenger who was unwilling to take step aside money, which saw Canelo Alvarez now have to go to uh, plan B, okay? And uh, there was reports that Canelo Alvarez could possibly go to light heavyweight, okay? And uh, look to become undisputed there and challenge WBO uh, light heavyweight world champion uh, star boxer Joe Smith Jr., who has a fight coming up, okay? So it's reported that Canelo Alvarez is willing to... Um, Petition the WBO World Boxing Organization to become the mandatory challenger for Joe Smith Jr. This is a belt, a, 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 um, a belt that Canelo Alvarez held. He holds titles at 154, 160, 168, and 175. He beat Sergey Krusha Kovalev for his WBO title. Okay, so with that said, you know uh, he has a direct line to the mandatory challenge position for Joe Smith Jr. Now Joe Smith Jr. he has a fight coming up. And he acknowledged that he was uh, uh, there's reports and as a possibility he could fight Canelo Alvarez should he get past his next next upcoming uh, showdown. Joe Smith, 27 wins, three losses, no draws, 21 wins by way of knockout. He himself was knocked out, 32 years of age, six foot tall with a 76 inch arm reach. Now he was initially supposed to face off against Caleb Johnson in his next fight, uh, which is scheduled for uh, next Saturday, January 15th uh, uh, of this year. But that has been. Uh, Kalen Johnson has been replaced by Steve Gafford. Okay, so he's going to face Steve Gafford. And should he get past Steve Gafford, there, there's reports that Canelo Alvarez could petition Joe Smith Jr. So a lot of reports ran rampant when ESPN reported that Canelo Alvarez has begun negotiating with Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo has been seeking out a fight with Canelo Alvarez since they both were at 154 when he became the mandatory for Canelo Alvarez WBC title at 160. Uh, this is a fight he's long been waiting to uh, secure and 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 face off against Canelo Alvarez, and there was a lot of feelings that Canelo Alvarez was avoiding Jamal Charlo. Well, now there's reports that this fight could po possibly take place in Canelo Alvarez's next fight on Cinco de Mayo weekend, uh, because Canelo Alvarez needs a plan B now as to what he's going to do. Simply because now his his plans to fight Mukubu. Uh, Cinco de Mayo weekend has fell through, okay? And since that has fell through, uh, Canelo Alvarez is looking for plan B, and the plan B is 
possibly face Jamal Charlo. And it ran rampant since ESPN reported that Jamal and Canelo's entered negotiations. Well, uh, there's reports coming out from Canelo's team now, uh, putting a little bit of water, uh, dousing that, you know, uh, uh, that rampantness a little bit and letting it be known that Joe Smith is still in the runnings to possibly he's looking to, that's a belt and that's a, a um, achievement that Canelo Alvarez is looking to achieve is he sees a path to becoming undisputed at light heavyweight, challenging Joe Smith, becoming a mandatory, uh, possibly still single the mile weekend, and then possibly facing off against or to better be the unified undefeated light heavyweight WBC IBF champion in September's uh, Mexican Independence Day weekend, and then possibly facing or to better be, I mean, excuse me, Dimitri Bevel in December, who was the WBA undefeated light heavyweight world champion to become undisputed and under a calendar year, once again, like he did at super middleweight. So it looks like that's the, that could possibly be the plan for Canelo Alvarez. And they're not leaving out the possibility, which I think is a long shot of facing longtime rival, Gennady Triple G Golovkin, two-time uh, uh, middleweight world champion, uh, Pakistani and superstar boxer Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Okay, so they're not leaving out the uh, possibility of facing Gennady Golovkin. Now, uh, it's it's interesting, uh, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstanian uh, fighter uh, Triple G. Right, it's interesting because Triple G he campaigns at 160 as well as Jamal Charlo. Now Jamal Charlo. He was being called out by two-time WBC undefeated Mexican superstar, super middleweight world champion, David Benavidez. But Jamal Charlo, he stated he's not a super middleweight, okay? So he had no interest in going up to super middleweight. But then he seemed to have changed his stance and stated that he wanted the winner of Caleb Plant and Canelo Alvarez. That's a fight that he was looking to, you know, uh, face off against the winner, and, uh, you know, there was reports when Jamal Charlo the other day announced that he's going up to super middleweight, says he's the biggest and the best super middleweight in the world. Uh, there's reports in, uh, you know, uh, interest in a fight between Jamal Charlo and Caleb Plant for the vacant IVF title that could possibly be vacated by uh, Canelo Alvarez if he moves up. Well, now they're not ruling out Triple G. Gennady Golovkin, 41 wins, one loss, one draw, 36 wins by way of knockout. Five foot ten and a half with a seventy inch arm reach, uh, thirty nine years of age. He fought Canelo Alvarez back in uh, uh, the first fight that took place in September of twenty seventeen. Uh, it ended in a draw where my, uh, many people thought that Gennady Golovkin won the fight, and then they had an, a, a rematch after Canelo Alvarez tested positive for a banned substance called Buterol, in which he was suspended. And then they had a rematch that took place uh, September of twenty eighteen, and Canelo Alvarez. He won a majority's decision over Triple G Golovkin, which many people thought that Triple G could have won that fight, could have should have gotten the nod in that night. OK, but nonetheless, Canelo Alvarez, he stated that Triple G is in his rearview mirror. He didn't have much interest in facing off in Triple G in a trilogy match. Well, there's talks that a possible Triple G trilogy could be on the table now, and they're not ruling that out as Canelo Alvarez is simply at this point in time looking to stay active. OK, again, his plans was to go up to Cruiserweight. That was his uh, long-time trainer, well-renowned trainer, two-time trainer of the year, Eddie Reynoso, playing. They petitioned the WBC to be able to face Makugu at Cruiserweight, okay? They even had a face-off at the WBC uh, WBC convention, and this is something that they were highly talking about making come to fruition, okay? They have a lot of interest in Canelo Alvarez becoming a five-division champion. And so now it seems like a lot of people have run with the you know, um, story that you're going to see Canelo versus Jamal Charlo, which they're saying that that's not all the way true uh, and that they're still weighing out their options. Can, Jamal Charlo is definitely an option, but they're still weighing their options. And Joe Smith is definitely still an option if Joe Smith gets past his upcoming fight, which I highly expect him to get past Stafford in his upcoming fight, Gafford in his upcoming fight. So uh, we could possibly see Jamal Charlo, Canelo Alvarez. Uh, which would be Cinco de Mayo weekend. We saw Jamal Charlo already training. We know Canelo Alvarez stay training. Uh, now, Canelo Alvarez has been seen on vacation, you know, but he's always in shape. He's always in the gym. This is what he does. He lives, eats, and sleeps boxing. So he's he's going to be in shape. So with that said, uh, not so fast with the Canelo Alvarez-Jamal Charlo talk. Uh, and there's still talk that Jamal Charlo could still possibly be facing 
Caleb Plant in his next fight. So it's not a it's not a foregone conclusion that you're going to see Jamal Charlo versus Canelo Alvarez. That's a, that's a wish uh, on many people's wish list in the sport of boxing because it's a long time coming to see Jamal Charlo versus Canelo Alvarez uh, in a highly anticipated showdown. Uh, many people feel like J Canelo Alvarez is going to choose Jamal Charlo because Jamal Charlo has been out the ring for over a year. Jamal Charlo hasn't looked that great in his fight uh, with um, Montiel. OK, uh, and so a lot of people feel like, well, going on a year in this June would be a year since he was in the ring. So if he fight in May, that's only a month. He would have been out the ring for 11 months. OK, so uh, with that said, you know, um, people feel like he's shown vulnerabilities. Uh, he showed kinks in his armor and now is ripe for the picking for Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez, he lets Jamal Charlo know that he's knocking Jamal Charlo out. Uh, he says that nobody could beat him in his prime, not Triple G. Right now, he feels like he's unbeatable. Uh, he's going to beat, um, he'll beat anybody at 175. He'll beat Jamal Charlo. He'll beat David Benavidez. Uh, and he feels like he'll beat Mukubu at, at Cruiserweight. So we got to see how this unfolds and plays out and keep an ear to it and see what happens. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like the shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.